Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. I'm that redstone guy and I'm going to show you a simple tutorial for these uh, double doors. Um, I'll show f First of all I'll show you the features. Uh, you can press the button and these doors stay infinitely open until you walk over these pressure plates which then close it. And on your way out you just have to stand on these pressure plates, the doors stay open for as long as you're on there and then they close when you're off it. So this is good for this side is good for when for outside so you no know, mobs can get in with pressure plates, you just press the button, quickly run in, your doors close behind you, like any normal sort of door, and when you're on your way out you don't really want to press a button, you just want to walk straight out and it comes out. Um, and this is this design's very good because it works on multiplayer as well. The only thing you have to watch out for is uh, lag um, when you are coming out this way because um, because sometimes the doors close before you get there. Uh, so you just usually just wait on these pressure plates until the door opens and then you walk out. I'm going to show you how to build this in just a moment. And we're back. Now I'm going to show you how to build it. So first of all, you're going to need a 6x6 area. Now you're not going to use all of this, but this will encompass the whole design. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go two blocks down, and you're going to place three blocks here, and one block there. Then you're going to go up, place another two blocks on top of there, and on there, and then you're going to place that there. Now that there is the basic frame for the door. Then you're going to place your two doors in there. All right. Now then what you're going to need is you're going to need to place a button here, and you're going to come around the back, and you'll find that you will need to place your um, pressure plates here, but first of all you have to dig out underneath and we're going to dig out this area underneath here. These are going to be the blocks that the, um, the wire, these blocks that I'm about to place are going to be where you place the wire for the pressure plates. That there, And I'm just going to dig out a little area around the back. Now you don't need to do this, but it just makes it easier to find your way around underneath. And, and well, yeah. You can also change the ground underneath here to be the material of your choice. I've just chosen wood for this example, but it's really up to you what you what you use. Now what you're going to do is you're going to place a repeater here and another repeater here. Then you'll place a wood block or whatever block that you choose here and here. Then you're going to place two redstone torches one on top of each block. And you're going to see which, and you see that whichever door that is open, you come down here and you place a, a torch here, place a block on top of there, remove that torch, and then place another torch here so that both the doors are closed. Then what you're going to do is set the repeater with only one torch to be two instead of just one so that the delay is equal. Then what you're going to do is dig out some more around here and you're going to have pretty much the same but opposite on the other side here uh, you're going to set this one to two and I'm just going to dig out a little bit more and then what we're going to do is we're going to set up the RS null latch for the design now we just put, um, we dig out this block here um, place a block here dig out this one and this one We'll need that uh, for late. Uh, we'll need this one dug out as well for later. And what we're going to do is place a torch here. Then we're going to place a block here and one on top of here. Then we'll place a bit of redstone wire here and here. And a torch over here. Then we're going to place some wire here so that it connects up the other thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a reset for the RS null latch, which will come from this, uh, from the pressure plates. And we're going to run the wire down past here. Now the reason I dug out this block is if I put it here, the repeater will run into this block, and then you'll get what's called a feedback loop, where it'll just be like an RS null latch with no reset. So we have to make it go down one block, and then to keep this so that you don't need more room, you place a repeater here. This also lengthens the delay of when the door's shut. Um, and then what we're going to do is 
going to fly up here. Now, you might be doing this on survival, so you may need to dig out some more areas so that you can block stack. Uh, then you're going to destroy this block here. And under here, we're going to um, uh, place a block and put some redstone wire on top of that. Then we're going to dig out this block here and place another block on top of there. And then some redstone wire, and we're going to dig out this block, and it looks like we've broken into the room there. So now we're going to go back under, but before we do that, we're going to close that up. So as you notice in the design, uh, you can't actually see the wiring, which is nice, because I like to keep everything hidden with my wiring. Um, then we're going to come down here, I'm just going to remove these. Now you can patch up most of this design, um, not all of it is necessary. Um, I, it's just that if you want to come down here, if like, you get creeped once and you're trying to fix up the design, um, then what you're going to do is we're going to run the wire from the button all the way down into this side of the RS null latch. Um, which is on the top. Now this is a vertical RS null latch, which um, I'm not sure where it originated, but you can find it on the wiki. Um, um, and that's pretty much done. And uh, now we're going to oh, um, cover this up and put some pressure plates down, and you will see it in action. All right. Now the RS null latch was uh, was set when we were placing that uh, because we placed that first torch. I like that, but it, um, but you can, oops, um, you can just reset it by stepping on the pressure plates, and then because this is also hooked up to the doors, it keeps them open. But when you step it off, it closes, and we'll go out again. Oh, whoop. See, that's some of the issues you can get on multiplayer. I'm just getting a bit of lag in single player because um, my computer is a bit slow. Um, then out here, just as in the other door that we made over, that I made earlier over there, you can press it that, and it stays open um, for as long as you want. If you wanted to, you could hook it up to um, a mono-stable circuit so that, like, it wouldn't stay open. Like, if you accidentally pressed it and then you left it, it would close after a while. Um, I'm not going to show uh, you this in this video, but because I'm sure you can figure uh, this out yourself. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love getting your comments. Um, and if you have any problems, just uh, either send me a personal message or comment on this video, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.